Okay, so now we're in lab and I'm trying to have a look at the boiling point of methanol at different pressures. So first of all, we've got a beaker full of water. It's just tap water. This is a thermometer. And we will move over and get some methanol. So this is our methanol bottle. I've got the video backwards, but never mind. And I'm going to put it into this container. I did try to tip it in on camera, but I got out of shot accidentally there so sorry about that it is really methanol in this container we'll see that in a moment um, but unfortunately it's not all one shot so that was fast forwarding through some setup there now i'm pumping a vacuum into my container at 20 degrees and we can see that very little is happening there's nothing in there apart from methanol and i get the pressure down quite low um, we're going to go a bit faster over this as well because, yeah, there's a lot of this and nothing happens at all. I was hoping that it would boil at this point, but it didn't. So nothing happened at 20 degrees. This is now at 40 degrees, or about a bit higher. Some warm water out of the tap. You'll see the thermometer in a bit. And I'm going to put the container in there and then pump on it to a vacuum. Um, it'll take a little bit of time for me to get everything set up. So we're back to full speed again. Nothing happened at all at 20 and now we're trying it faster. Here we are, the picture of the um, thermometer coming up to prove that it really is 40, 45. Not very clearly but it is. Now we're going to put the container in and start to pump down and um, we'll get aimed up better first so that you can see we can see behind that uh, reflection there there we go so now we can see the methanol in the bottom and nothing happening it's at 40 degrees the boiling point of methanol is 65 ish so we would be expecting it to boil at this point but it's not going to um, so it's not boiling obviously at room temperature now we're pumping it and nothing is happening uh, now we're pumping it now i've opened the valve closing all the things making sure that everything's working and pumping it you can see a little bit of action but nothing really exciting happens And now it's been going for a fairly long time, so I'm going to let the air back in again. You can see when I let the air in, it blows back in. It's about to do that sometime now. Okay, it's taken a bit longer than I thought it would. It's somewhere around here. Here it goes. That's me letting the pressure back in again. So we can see it doesn't boil at 40 degrees, even under a fairly good vacuum. Um, it's quite a good pump that we've got here. Now I'm going to add a piece of stick to it to, to generate some surface for it to go in. There you see me drop it in. And when I put the vacuum back on again, it boils instantly. It gets down to a decent vacuum. Ready? So at the moment it all gets connected up and starts pumping. I have to connect all the tubes up. But now it will boil. There it goes. Boiling as soon as the vacuum gets on. So we can see that the boiling happens at lower pressure, even at a mediocre temperature. This is at 40 degrees, but we'll see in a moment that it will carry on boiling if we take it out. But even a good vacuum with nothing in there, with no surface to nucleate the bubbles, it goes past boiling point effectively. It refuses to boil. Here I am boiling it a few times. Now I'm going to take it out and boil it at room temperature. So now without the hot water connected we can see it will boil perfectly happily on its own and during this time it's taking heat from the environment. It's taking the heat that it had itself and cooling down. It'll cool down and cool down so I'm going to leave it for a little while. We'll um, stop talking and speed up the video. This is about 10 times speed now, so it's boiling away on its own and we're going to go back to normal speed now and measure the temperature. 
So I'll put a thermometer in there and try to measure the temperature. And now I've let it back up to room temperature, uh, room pressure, sorry. Speeding up this bit as well as it's cooling down the thermometer. And we can see the temperature is 10 degrees, 10 degrees centigrade in there and it was boiling the methanol. Okay, it was at very low pressure, but methanol shouldn't boil at that temperature. So to sum up, methanol should boil at around 65 degrees centigrade or well below 10 in under vacuum, but it doesn't unless there's a surface in there. We can get it to not boil at 40 degrees under very good vacuum, but we can get it to boil down to below 10 degrees at a good vacuum, showing our two effects that I wanted to show you today. Thank mm -hmm. you.